Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, somebody asked me uh, recently, recently earlier today, that if uh, if comics never changed, and and uh, there's a certain futility to this question, but it's, it's like if comics never improved, you do all these videos talking about comics should do this and that and everything, but let's just assume nothing changes. It's now 2035. Comics are still this way, exactly the same way. Are you going to be on Perch video number five? You know, fifty thousand. I think I've already passed five thousand. Are you going to be on, uh, you know, going Marvel Comics should do Tonka Bonds? I, I, are you going to be doing that? And the answer is no. No, I no, I do have I do have a uh, expiration date, both literally and figuratively around all this stuff. Um, no, I, I'm not going to be you know, beating my head against that wall already. Um, I've done the Marvel Comics do collected Tonka Bond videos like five times too many. Uh, but, you, you know, I I think that. Uh, I, 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 but, but, but well, actually, let me get to the rest of the question. The rest of the question was, you know, you know, are you still going to be doing these videos? And are you still like, what, what, will you have abandoned comics by then? Will you like no longer be doing comics? And the answer was like, I, 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 I must have looked confused because I'm like, no, of course not. Of course I'm going to be still reading comics. And then, and then kind of the follow up question becomes one that people ask all the time. And I think they don't get it. And, and sometimes when people come in to kind of try and dunk on me, they'll, They'll do the same shit of like, you know, ah, then why are you complaining about it? If, you, if you're still going to be here, why are you complaining about it? And the answer is because because I like to talk about comics, asshole. What it was, <laughs> I'd like to talk about comics. I think that, you know, that we've gotten to this place where if you complain about something, it's like you're taking a stand. You're taking this extreme like, no, it shall never be good again. And I get why people think that when they go and they see, uh, well, like I, I mentioned in another video, there's like, some, some guy had like 20 videos on how shitty the Velda show was. It was just over and over and over and over again. I, I get I get how you might think it's it's this kind of ideological war, but in most cases it's not. In my case, it's not. It's 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 just talking about comics. It it's literally just talking about comics. Um I think that, you know, there's a lot of exciting things that comics can do. I think there's a lot of directions they can go in. Um, I think that, you know, comics, are, but, 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 you know, here's the thing. And I think even for any of you who are really like comics industries, dead, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. You're telling me of the 500 comics that are being produced every month, which doesn't even include the stuff that you're getting on Webtoon, the digital only stuff, the crowdfunded stuff, the stuff you're getting from Indiegogo, the stuff you're getting if you're CG, the stuff you're getting from CG, wherever you happen to be. You're telling me none of those, nothing, nothing is good. Of all that, I don't believe that for a second. The, the um, it, it's, it's this desire to talk in extremes. There is, there are comics out there that, you, that I enjoy of all types. And maybe I'm a little bit more forgiving than others because, you know, hey, I, I read and enjoyed the Christopher Cantwell, uh, Namor, no, sorry, Namor, uh, Conquered Shores limited series. Uh, it was, it was, it was good. Was it a, it's not a masterpiece. I'm not going to run out and buy the trade and put it on my shelf, but it was a, it was a good read. I am very much enjoying the Alan Davis Avengers War Across Time. I, I enjoyed it. I, I, I think I always find something I can enjoy be it Marvel, DC, Indies, crowdfunded, uh, digital comics, there's always a handful of things. And, you know, quite honestly, given the kind of absolutely outrageous price of a lot of comics, if I calculate out the amount of things I like, I mean, I'm, I'm probably, I don't know, 10 to 20 comics a month that I like. Yeah, that's, that's uh, like 50 bucks. You know, somewhere between 50 and $75 I'm spending a month. On comics I like, and the reality is I'm spending a lot more than that because I'm also buying comics I don't like because I'm an idiot. But 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 anyway, of the stuff that I actually feel like my money is going to a good place, it's say a good fifty dollars a month. We're gonna think about that. This shitload of money, you know, six hundred dollars a year. On the light side, you know, you're talking about six hundred seven hundred and fifty dollars a year are going to comics I like. Let alone all the money I'm spending on comics I don't like. How many things do you have like that where you're spending, I mean, $500 a year on something that you enjoy? Not, not a requirement like food or rent or gas. I mean, you know, you, nobody likes gas. You need gas to, like, 
move around and do things, but I'm talking about just pure things that you enjoy. You know, how many of you are spending $500 a year on strippers? Don't answer that. Um, you know, what's your OnlyFans uh, expenditure per year? I don't know. Uh, but my, my, I guess my, my, my point here is that when somebody asks me, like, hey, you complain about comics, when are you going to just stop reading comics? It's like, well, number one, you know, there are comics I enjoy. And if, if everybody is being really truthful to themselves, there's comics you enjoy, too. There's stuff here you like, stuff you're reading. And no, don't be one of like, I'm too cool, but all I like is back issues. Fuck modern comics. I just read back. Like, okay, all right. I understand. That's, uh, that's like something, yeah, yeah I'm not going to give an analogy there, but, but it's, it's, uh, you're, you're, you're trying to fit in. Okay. I'm sure there's some modern comics. Now, now, but uh, granted, you may not be exposed to several of those comics. And one of the things that, you know, we all need to do a better job, including this channel, is to point out like, hey, if you liked uh, 90s comics, you know, here's three comics currently produced by the Indies. They're kind of hard to get your hands on. But if you're going to a comic shop, you could ask the retailer for these and they'll get them ordered for you. And it'll scratch that itch. It'll give you what you want. You know, I think that that's something we can all do. But the reality is, you know, yeah, I'm still, I'm still enjoying comics. I can complain about the business model. I can complain about, you know, some of the dumb content. I complain about stuff that is bad. I can complain about apathy being an increasing problem in comics, which all those things are true. Cost is too high. Distribution is wrong. Some of the content is batshit crazy. The incessant desire to want to modify existing characters rather than create new because we want the crutch of using those characters. It's like, like speaking of Velma, the entire thing about that show People go, why didn't, why didn't Mindy Kaling, wasn't really her original project anyway, but why didn't Mindy Kaling just create a brand new character, you know, and, and just do it the way she wanted? Why, why, why leverage Scooby-Doo? Why radically change the Scooby-Doo characters to do what she's doing? Well, the answer to that is because funding. Because the, the, the studio, because Warner Media, HBO, was never going to greenlight a project and fund something with no brand recognition. So that's, that's what they're, they're, they're doing it. It's purely business reasons. I know there's also a theory out there that they're doing this to intentionally just try and ruin everything that you love as a kid, you know, for cultural reasons, you want everybody to be miserable, but it's, it's for business reasons. It's, it's called, you know, maybe we, we will trick people into coming to this property because they recognize the characters in it. And then we'll go, LOL, subvert expectations. And it ain't that cool. And that's that's how we're gonna do it. That's 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 the goal. That's what that's what Velma is all about. That's why they use the characters they did. That's why they put it out. That's why they uh, even kind of cheekily talked about it, like this isn't your mom, Scooby Doo. It's like they knew exactly what they were doing, which was leverage an existing well loved brand to suck people in. The end. That's that 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 was the game, and it and it sort of worked. It worked, but. You know, people have seen so mi so much of it that it led to just immediate kind of heat viewing, and that's that's where we that's that's ultimately where we landed. But but uh, you know, I'm going to keep reading comics because I enjoy them, not because I'm a simp or a cuck or you know I just like to throw my money away for no good reason. I I find comics I enjoy, and if you truly are somebody who is uh, out there saying I enjoy nothing out of 500 plus comics, web comics, crowdfunded comics, there's nothing I like. Okay, well, then I'd, I'm going to say bullshit, you never like comics in the first place. Because there's a massive variety of comics. 100%, I agree, taking existing comics like Spider-Man or the X-Men and then, you know, jacking them all over the place by doing, you know, crazy fucked up things like Velma in order to leverage the brand without doing work to actually make something new on your own is bullshit. I agree. Total bullshit. But doesn't mean I'm going to stop reading comics. I mean, that would be, that'd be absurd. I, I, you know, and doesn't mean I'm going to stop, you know, even if I'm liking all the comics, doesn't mean I'm going to stop pointing things out, complaining at times, because it's fun. Something I don't do, I don't like go home at night, seethe and write like secret little letters to Didio and Casada and these guys are like, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you and everything you've done for comics, you fucker. I'm, but no. 
and use these videos on the drive home. And uh, thank you very much for the guy who uh, pointed out this uh, nice Adobe product, which just cleans up the audio. It's great. So uh, better audio. I haven't had anybody complain about trash audio lately. So, you know, that, that's good. It does make my voice sound more tinny, though. In real life, my voice is deeper. It just sounds deeper. It's because of my huge penis is why. But, uh, but anyway, that's what's going on there. All right. Well, yeah, still love comics. Still going to talk about comics. You know, at some point, we'll stop talking about comics, mainly because I'll be old and or dead. But, uh, you know, I, I'm not giving up on comics. What, what kind of stupid-ass question is that? Who would? Thanks for listening. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down.